This dermatoscope I'm using at the moment is an Iluco brand. It's got a few features you probably saw in the video of my skin check that I was doing. As you'd expect, a power button happens to be on the top here. Lots of LEDs, a nice white light. Some dermatoscopes have more of a yellowness to them. Um, this is a quite a nice, neat, clean white light. The, uh, the light works for two hours of operating time anyway, so it's not like I recharge it between sessions. The button on the left is the sort of feature you need in dermatoscopes these days, which is a polarising, non-polarising switch. So you can see that the light looks different as you toggle the button on and off. If you're going to get a dermatoscope, get one with one of these. You've got to get a polarising, non-polarising, or you're going to miss some, some lesions, which only have you know, polarising specific white lines, for example. When I looked at Anna's ear spot, I actually took off this faceplate and grabbed this little gadget, this adapter, for just looking in little hollow areas, like conchal bowls, um, belly buttons, for example. I saw a belly button melanoma on a 28-year-old a couple of years ago. That was a bit of a surprise. Um, that's very strong magnet, really easy to, to pull on and off. You don't have to have any attachment on, in fact. You can have that completely removed and just look at it on, say, a raised lesion and then manually focus it that way. Or perhaps if you've got a pink vessel that you want to have a look at, without compressing the vessels, make sure you've got the plate off so that you get the best possible picture. And then when you look through the, the eyepiece, it's quite a wide view on it. So I've been really happy with this and it's done a really good job.